Hey guys, Dr. Chris here to Crew Health. Happy holidays, merry early Christmas. We are just around the corner uh, from one of my favorite times of the year. Now, while Christmas and, and the entire holiday season brings so much joy and so much fun and so many great things, there's also sometimes some scary stuff about it. And I wanna share that with you guys today, not to be a downer, but to provide you guys with some critical insights about probably the scariest statistic I've ever heard around Christmas and the holidays. And it's this. The number one day of cardiac deaths in America, right, heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in America, okay, is on Christmas Day out of all 365 days during the year. The number two day is the day after Christmas, December 26th, and the third most common day of cardiac deaths in America is on January 1st, on New Year's Day. Now the question is why? Is that just a random chance, luck of the draw? No, there's a really, really clear, re easy reason to understand as to why that happens. And it's that ultimately we have more physical, more mental, emotional, and more chemical stress on all of our bodies over the holiday season, right? There is the mental, emotional stress of finances and all the buying of gifts and challenging relationships and stressful times with family members around uh, you know, the Christmas table. Right? There is the chemical stresses of more sugar consumption, more alcohol consumption, more salt consumption. Right? A lot of just poor eating habits and oftentimes more eating than normal around the holidays. Okay? Also, people are way less active during this time of year. Right? People are not outside, they're not getting vitamin D. There's so many different things that lead to more stress on our bodies. And so the question is, what do we do about it? Do we just cross our fingers and hope that that doesn't happen to us? No, right? The best defense is a great offense. And so what can you be doing right now? What can you and your family be doing? And what can you have other people in your life do to help make sure that they are avoiding those statistics? First and foremost is chiropractic care, right? Why does your spine, why does getting adjusted have anything to do with heart disease or anything like that? The reality is, is that your nervous system controls all hormones in your body. And the stress hormones, which are controlled by that fight or flight stress response, are all controlled through that system. And so whenever you're adjusted, you help to allow your body to adapt to stress more effectively, okay? There's also research out of another one of the medical journals that actually shows that people who have forward head posture have a 44% greater risk of death due to cardiovascular disease than those who do not, okay? So chiropractic care, when it comes to your posture, when it comes to helping to lower stress hormones in the body is absolutely essential, okay? Number two tip, make sure that you are getting a lot of sleep. Okay? You guys should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And during the holiday season, between trying to finish up year-end stuff for work and the demands around that, between trying to squeeze in your Christmas shopping or all the different things that we're doing nowadays, a lot of times people are getting less sleep this time of year. So make sure that you are staying up with your sleep. That's the number one time that your body has a chance to rest, repair, and recover. Okay, So seven to eight hours of sleep. Third tip, make sure you are staying up with your water consumption. Okay? Remember, you guys have probably learned this before from us, but you should be consuming half of your body weight in ounces every single day of water. Okay? So if you weigh 160 pounds, you should be consuming a minimum of 80 ounces of water a day. Okay? So make sure that you guys are staying up with your water, staying hydrated. That is critical for your cardiovascular health and for, and for detoxing and cleansing out your body. Okay? And the fourth and final tip is this, move your body. Right? Our bodies are designed to move, we're designed to be active. And this year in 2020, more than ever, because people are working from home and people are, are, you know, have their school and classes online and they're doing that from home and all the distance learning, people are more sedentary than they've ever been before. So make sure that even if the weather is not ideal, that you are figuring out ways to be active and every day move your body, that is gonna be critical for your cardiovascular health. Okay guys, now remember, all the things we talked about, they are going to be on the newsletter this week. So when you're in for your adjustment, make sure you grab one of these, share it to family and friends, you know, take it, post it, share it on your social media, because this information is critical. And in a year when there's been so much fear and worry and, and stress and anxiety around COVID, while that, you know, that definitely is an important thing, recognize that every single year, and it's not close, the leading cause of death is cardiovascular disease in our country. And over half the time, the first symptom is a fatal heart attack, which we don't want. 
right? So make sure that you guys are learning these tips, applying these tips in your life, and I hope that this is a blessing for you guys, and you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday season, and we're so excited for a great new year in 2021. Again, I'm Dr. Chris here from Accrue Health. Have an amazing day today. See you guys soon.